Hi, I'm going to do a flip through and review of Memoria Press's first grade reading and phonics program. Now, I forgot to pull out my phonics flashcards, but you do use those in the first couple weeks of review of phonics. So, um, I had the curriculum manual printed. I wanted to print an extra copy so I could right on it because I have two kids. Um, so right here they tell you what your phonics review is going to be, what you need to do each day. So here is the First Start Reading Book E. This is the only book that you use for the phonics review and the first, I think it's 8 to 12 weeks. So this is just like the rest of the First Start Reading program. I loved this. This was super thorough and it was short and sweet. It got the point across. My daughter retained all the information and the phonics that she needed to while using this. It also comes with a teacher's guide and you use the classic phonics books that you used in the kindergarten first start reading program for all your different um, word study studies that you're reviewing each day. Now, then you jump into Storytime Treasures, and if you look at the manual here, you can see you know, we start with Little Bear, and they tell you what to do. You reread these pages on this day, you do this activity, and you do this activity on Thursday. This is what we're doing. On Friday, this is what we're doing. So the curriculum manual is a wonderful resource to show you what you need to do each day. So here are most of the books. I just don't think I have the frog and toad books. So let's review the books we read in first grade. They're all wonderful classic literature. Um, the language is appropriate. The things that they're studying are appropriate for their grade. So I really appreciate the time and care Memoria Press took to pick out their literature that they're using for each um, student. So we have Miss Rumpheus, The Little House, The Story About Ping, Keep the Lights Burning Abbey, Stone Soup, Blaze in the Forest Fire, which I, I think these are pretty difficult to find, but I found them in my library as also. Billy and Blaze, Caps for Sale, and like I said, The Frog and Toad books, and Make Way for Ducklings. Let's take a look at the student guide. Just a quick flip through of Storytime Treasures. I really love that they did it this way. So if you have a left hand writer or a right hand writer, it being spiral bound at the top, the student can really, as they're still learning to write and figuring out their handwriting style, um, this is a great way to use. Obviously, I have the teacher guide that comes with this. I can pull that out so you can get a quick look at that. So they tell you how to use the guide, which I really like. It's short and sweet, the instructions on how to do each lesson, but they get across the point of what you need to do, and they also do a model lesson plan. So this is what it looks like from the student, from the teacher's point of view. This is what you're doing on day one before your lesson. So you do need the phonics flashcards. If you don't want to pull the flashcards out, like I didn't like to pull them out every day, I just did this on an activity. I would write down, I mean on a whiteboard, I would write down the word fly and I would say, what sound does the Y make in fly? Bread. What sound does EA make in bread? And I would just underline the EA on the whiteboard. All these things I would also do on the whiteboard, I would just write these words down and my daughter would read them. Same with this and this. So we did all of this on a whiteboard. Now, we do this before reading the story. We would say each word, write it, use it in a sentence. Same with this. We would do this after the story. So that would be day one. Day two, you have your pre-reading, which I do on the whiteboard. And then we do this after our reading. And this is just from the teacher's guide point of view. So these are the worksheet pages. Just take a look at that. And this is for just story time treasures, which is the first half of the year. OK, 
Okay, let's look at the frog and toad. Now they do add some grammar lightly in on these lessons, which is super nice. So the students are learning to, you know, put a period at the end of their sentence, starting their sentences with a capital letter. So they do touch on some basic grammar, like the noun um, in Storytime Treasures, which is nice. I'm sorry. So really big writing, plenty of space for the student to write in. See, here's a language lesson and abbreviations. So let's look at more story time treasures, which is the same layout. And the teacher's guide looks the same as story time treasures. Art activity. Here's a grammar lesson. So this really does cover all the facets that you want in a reading program with the pre-reading, the comprehension, and the grammar, <clears throat> and there's plenty of writing. Now what they have you do with the writing of the comprehension questions is in this program is they have you answer the questions together with the student. And what I did in the beginning of the year, is we would answer them together and I would write them down on a whiteboard and she would copy them. And by the end of the year, she became really comfortable with us just discussing the questions and then she could write them on her own. So I loved this program. It worked really well for our family. You also use a phonics book with Core Skills Phonics. We did about two pages every day once we got halfway through the year. And we loved this. It was short and sweet and to the point. So overall, two thumbs up for Memoria Press's first grade reading program has all the components that you want. It's very comprehensive and they have wonderful classic literature. Let me know if you have any questions.